Welcome. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the University of Nigeria, Nsoka, Department of Mechanical Engineering. So we have a project in front of us that is a drone. So before that, we have to give ourselves an introduction and we go over to the next business. So my name is Soria Kwemeka Steven, a final year student of mechanical engineering, popularly called OSHE. Thank you. Okay, I'm Ice Reed, I'm Google Reader Okay, this project was submitted to the Department of Mechanical Engineering under a course called Applied Design, and we fight one more. So we just want to show you some little things about the component. The drone itself. It's called the cup copter because actually you can see the arrangement. The cross arrangement with four motors. This is the remote, right? So now we are going to be talking about the components that make up our cut copter. So we we'll start this way. So this is our remote. Our remote. So our remote is actually detachable. Okay, we have. So let's just detach it. Okay, so this is Arduino Uno. So this is our microcontroller, the one that. So just like this. So this guy over here is called NLA. Is a NLA? Why this is is antenna? So it's, it's actually called Plus because of it have ability to transmit data long range. So this is actually a transceiver. So what it does is that right now we place it at this point here. So anything that we are pressing, it transmits the signal through this antenna down to the receiver. So because of this is a remote, so this is what is our transmitter part of it. So we are through with this for now. So the next thing we'll go over to the drone itself. Okay. <clears throat> for the mother drone itself. So as we all know, this is what a quadcopter. Why is called a quadcopter? Because of it has four rotors. And this configuration is actually a plus configuration and so we have a propellers, the up, the propellers, up, the up, the electric motor, this is a brushless, DC brushless motor and this motor, this Emacs, they are very very good because this motor has the ability of rotating 50,000 RPM, that was wonderful, superbly fast. And this motor is actually a six pole motor. So, next to that, um, so we will not be able to dismount to everything. Um, this is our ACS, this is what we call ESC, which is what the electronic speed controller. So, what this guy does is that this is what the driver of the motor, so it drives this our electric motor this our um, dc brushless motor by like regulating the speed and the rest of it so going into it so <clears throat> open the drone okay from the first part of it so this is a dc brushless fan 12 volts just a cooling system for this drone and we have a switch here that switch off and switch on switch off switch on switch on switch off switch on and switch off so so coming inside the package of the drone we can see lots of components and i'd like us to identify each of them so this is the switch so this is a choke resistor so this choke resistor is actually helping us to reduce the eating effect of our circuits in this place so this one is um, a voltage regulator this is lm7805 so it's a five volt voltage regulator so try to like regulate the power that will be entering into the spot this spot this is actually coming from the esc so this is so if you look at it very well you see that we have different colors we have brown red and yellow so the yellow is actually the pulse width used to like control the speed of the motor why this other two is for the power that is the vcc and the ground of the motor so this our voltage regulator regulates the amount of voltage that gets into our our ECS so this is Arduino Mega I think we have to show you guys what we're talking about so Arduino Mega so so the Arduino Mega just as the one on the 
the transmitter part so this is the arduino mega chip micro arduino mega is a chip also so it does also the programming part of it so collecting data that is being transmitted from the transmitter parts so also so this is the cable for the fan that powers this fan so coming to this place so this is also our nrf 24l01 so this is the receiver so this collects data signals from the transmitter part of it and it's being sent to the arduino board arduino board tells the ecs what to do but arduino board also need power so we have two sets of battery these are lion batteries found in your laptop system we'll be talking more about this kind of battery later on so i hope, I hope you love our packaging right now so let's go outside our room so <clears throat> so this is how we get the packaging from amas now when we go to the back of our our propellers and motors you see that one problem we discovered that is power problem we have a voltage requirement for maximum performance we have a voltage requirement of 14.8 volt and current requirement of 14.6 and making the total power of 21.6 216.1 watts so thinking about this how do we get such amount of battery to power this drone um because of the some economical challenges that we face in our during this recession time in the federal republic of nigeria we are unable to get the batteries for drone which is lipo battery so we are able to make deal with the one that we are able to locally source so this is a sample of the battery that we make use you can see lion battery that is lithium ion battery so lithium ion battery found this is found inside your laptop your power banks so just get the battery from there you'll be able to do something like this so we have different stacks of battery over this place so we have so sorry for the package you just have to protect our tenders so this one uh, contains actually eight cells of battery connected to parallels and each of these two parallels are connected serially so this battery so this battery have the bat uh, capacity of 4.2 volts when fully charged and 3.7 volts when not charged and it have a current capacity current rating of 208 and 2200 milliampere hour so to be able to get more power we connected five stacks of this battery together connecting them parallelly why we connected them in this way is that for this drone we need about 12 volts we need 12 volts to power our motors so and connecting this will be able to give us a, a voltage value of 16.8 volts oh really huge and also a current rating of 4400 milliampere hour so so this is our battery pack so because of this is very very quite able we can put it on our drone so over to this place so we have uh, so this is our light pro balance charger so this charger have the ability of charging these batteries and any other kind of batteries so we have source for balance charging positive, positive negative and collect everything so this is it so this is our circuit diagram so circuit diagram this is the receiver circuit diagram that is the one on the drone so we have ecs1 ecs2 ecs3 ecs4 and we have the switch and our battery pack which is four series two parallel we have our brushless motors connected this way so we have each of the powers of the ecs connected together ecc and ground and the pulse pin of the ecs are being connected to digital 17 digital that is digital input 17 16 15 and 14 so we have the nlf module transceiver that's this for the transceiver so we have some various pin vcc grand c that is chip enable chip select this is clockwise clock rate this is mostly mostly means master out sleep in 
this is miso master in sleep house so this one it does it when communicating with the arduino so you connect them all in this plane and we have your 7805 the voltage regulator and so on and so forth so we'll just be copying these things together in the next video so thank you very much i just want to put it through the course of the drums the transmitting phase the code that was put on the arduino the exactly as it's transmitted easy transmit and even the arduino so i just want to show you what each line is meant i would like to tell you that the transmitter has seven modes which are the left operations the right operations the left operation the right operation the up and the back while the lifting and the landing operations likewise we have you can hear the voice of the drum responding to the operation that i just pressed now now where we have landing and lifting and emergency at the same time these two buttons actually works for maximum and minimum check. So I will take you through the code and show you how we go about this. So initially we, we introduced the joystick shared library. Well, this is not so important for this. And we introduced the server library. It's naturally not so important for this because this server library is used to control the PCS methods. But it's so important for the drone to deliver the zipper code. SPI was very, very important. SPI was used to communicate. The SPI first and um, was used to communicate between the uh, NRF of 2401 mode to the SPI pins on the Arduino buttons. So we use that to communicate between them. So let's go to an NRF 2401 modules which used in order to be able to print and talk to the library called NRF module. Then we print F library was used to be able to print the status of any device at any time so we are using it to print the status of the device NRF and for us one module and I will still demonstrate that in this, in this video so we move to these instructions constant means pin CE was connected to pin 9 CSN was connected to pin 10 okay what is CE what is CSN C is just chip enable which is actually corresponding to the pin 3 pin 3 on NRF module and CSM was corresponding to pin 4 on NRF module so on Arduino joystick this is automatically manufactured it's just a way that by plugging in your NRF 24 module it is wired to pin 9 to pin 9 on Arduino module so what you just have to do is that you have to declare pin 9 and pin 10 as the C and CSM if you are going to use NRF 2401 is very important once you don't get it right it's not going to work so we are given NRF RF 24 L01 in the two pins if you are going to use this library defined so it was defined in the library that you must specify this this can be any name so just give the name wireless spy was any name you can give it any name so and as defined by the library you can just tell me where you connect your those two things okay this is an address that is a 40-bit address but well, i will have to tell you this i copied this straight out from online from one to three hours online so it's a 40-bit address that i used to talk to the address was the same for the one on the drone and the one on the transmitter so if you trace this pin out connections on this module very well this button called f button f i believe you can see it, button f was connected to pin 7 Arduino Uno. There is internal connection within Arduino joysticks. So, why these right buttons were connected to this button called B? Wow. First thing we have is actually the information that you are to do this module because if you have watched the videos of the platform and tell you that this is the platform of the video, you can see that one of these modes are particularly this one was not performing very well compared to the other, so we are going to get to the extent of balancing the tree. So, gyro was not introduced and an accelerometer. Actually, I am the international machine engine that has been introduced into this system, which is making it very difficult to balance the drone. That's one, two, is that we had a case of having ECS that are not performing as well as the rest of the performing. So, we have to buy some ECS and then we change it. So, I will just be showing you the connections between them. Okay. This is positive and negative coming from the 
the power, the battery pack, and it enters the drone. So all the ECS takes their power connections. ECS has five pins, which I will be showing you here. These are the three pins. These three pins I was plugged. Here. These are the three cables here located. These three cables was located. Here. So these two cables were this black and red, red cables. And the three cables that we are talking about, these three cables were these cables. These cables that comes from this ECS. So what you just have to do is just we just take a terminal block so in order to reduce the rate at which we tie this wire together and married joining between the tables. Okay, this board was you can call this board our mother board because um, upon this board every connection was getting perfectly well. You can see the sodium work in that the board. The ferro board is a line is a line ferro board that means lines are connected. So this was was in short way that you can plug and play this on top of the drones like this. So I'm plugging it to the drone. So once I plug it like this, I'll just show you that actually there's no more thing to add to this after you have done it this way. So can hear the system coming up. The program was downloaded on this. You can consult us for the program to review it. So the switch was used to com communicate and to regulate that. An NRF modus was communicated using this NRF 24L01 adapter. You can see it there. I guess this pin is coming out from the VCC here. And doing so these are the things that are missing. So, and for the battery pack, the battery pack was connected in parallel. So individual positive and negative that are coming from each individual battery pack was connected together. These are all the negative cables coming to this port, and this port is taking it out to the door. Why positive was used to control the stuff. You can see the positive on the switch. Positive on the switch is getting to this port. Why the positive from all the batteries getting to this person? Thereby connecting this one, connecting the power to the two. Then, what is the main part is the you have to the joystick, I don't know, joystick shirt can use different different modules. You can see you can use NRF 2401, you can use Bluetooth communication module here, you can see you can use i 2 c communications here. So it depends on what you want to use and but very important when you are using this particular module because this module uses 3.3 volt as you all know. For so this is calibration process, setting the maximum and the minimum fortune. This is about 2000 and 1000 RPM. So, Joystick up or like this, you're going to increase the speed of the motors and you take it down, you're going to increase the speed of the motors. I just want to show you this on the serial monitor. Showing it on the serial monitor here yeah, now. You can see. So the status of the drone is coming in. So as I take this off, you can see the lifting operations. See the little signal coming in. So if I'm coming down like this, you can see the landing signal is coming in. So if I want to move sideways, you can see the location coming in. I want to move upward because back directions, which are various points of this. And if I want to stop the drone emergency, so I will put the landing system. So I would like to be demonstrating this on the drone so that you'll be seeing it as it's happening.